to start it off, let's address the uh, the big news in the room, which is passing two very important all time highs. So Bitcoin soared past sixty eight thousand dollars for the first time. Ether also set a new all time high, passing four thousand eight hundred dollars, according to according to CoinDesk. Uh, I mean, giant news. Let's just have a little bit of a, a chat about that before we move on to our first story. Will, I'm going to throw it straight to you to start off with. Number go up. That's uh, number all I have to say. It's more Systems number operational. Go up. <laughs> <laughs> it does. NGU is in full effect. Uh, I, I will say that, like, compared to January, February, March, this is much less exciting this time around. I don't know why that is. Like, this was all kind of predicted by all the mega heads out there. This is just my experience. So I'm just talking my story here, Naomi. Okay. But maybe it's more exciting for you. But January, February, March, it just felt so much more exhilarating. I don't know if it's just because we've been near this number before or we like we had never been in that uh, 20 to 60K range in the history of Bitcoin before. Maybe that's why it felt so exciting. And, you know, obviously we had that pullback and obviously we had this uh, build up again. And maybe that's why it's not as cool. Uh, but it does seem like we're on a threshold for something pretty spectacular going into the end of the year. I mean, do, do you just totally disagree with me there? Are you like more? Yeah, hyped so um I just want to say for the record that Will's personal uh, understanding and feelings toward this are objectively false. This is incredibly exciting and his experience is wrong. Uh, so I just wanted to put that on the record wow. so that people don't get confused uh, about that. But you just, you're such a downer, Will. This is giant news. This is so exciting. It just exciting. doesn't feel, it's pretty cool. I'm not disagreeing with you. And it's probably like a more healthy position for higher highs. But at the same time, I don't know. Like between twenty and sixty k, we'd never been there. In January, it was it was just like it was like energy right in your bones, right? It just felt amazing. I, someone else has to back me up with this. I, I see some. Yeah, we all need a hug. We were, waiting, we were waiting so long for a price breakout in the last few years Dude, that when hug. it finally happened, we were just like, "Holy God, thank you so much!" Been sitting here on this Bitcoin or whatever, waiting and waiting and waiting for this thing to happen, and then it finally did. So yeah, that made it super exciting. Now that we're on our way up, and cool. we're not even as far up as people said we were going to go. You know, now it's just sort of like, okay, and what have you done for me lately? And now we're kind of, you know, getting. It's the human yeah. experience. Uh, I talked to the person who introduced me to Bitcoin and he's been in it for so long. And I would echo what he said is it just feels I'm numb now. It doesn't There's just numbers on the screen. It, he remembers when just... it was valueless. So I'm more about freedom goes up. How about that? Oh, yeah. well, we I go. will say that over the weekend, uh, my friends and I have taken to like putting up giant projectors in the backyard in front of a bonfire and just putting the Bitcoin ticker on there. That's how excited I am. Like this is a financial revolution. I can't get enough of it, but uh, I'll, I'll bring you guys on board. Don't worry. We'll get there. We'll, I'll, I'll send you some of that excitement and, and we'll make it. 